So from the title of the video, you can see, you know, the topic I'm going to be discussing today isn't really anything new. You can go type this in, you know, anywhere else on YouTube and the internet and you can find an answer why the Nazis weren't socialist. But I thought what might be interesting today is to debunk this claim using Hitler's own language because I found an interview from 1923, I think, where Hitler is talking with a British reporter and he's basically asking him all these questions about socialism and Hitler describes what he thinks socialism is and what he thinks, you know, the national socialists are. So as most people with a brain know, the Nazis aren't actually socialists. You know, it doesn't take a genius to work this out. That the theory of, you know, everyone essentially being equal, everyone living within their means, uh, you know, a utopia without class is not something the Nazis wanted at all. And, you know, it's not like socialism gone wrong or something. It's literally nothing to do with Nazism. But because of a right and centrist view that, you know, the Nazis must be socialist because they call themselves national socialists, you know, the things like People's Republic of China or the Democratic People's Republic of Korea for North Korea, that must also mean that's a democratic, you know, republic, isn't it? Because they said it is. Of course not. It's ridiculous logic. So we're going to get in to everything like that, but we're going to use Hitler's own words. So there can be really no debate at all that National Socialism, especially under the Nazis, had nothing to do with actual socialism. So The Guardian published this interview back in 2007, and like I said before, it was from 1923. So it's called No Room for the Alien, No Use for the Wastrel, which is what Hitler said. And this edited interview of Adolf Hitler by George Sylvester uh, Virek took place in 1923 and was republished in Liberty Magazine in July 1932. So let's get started with what Hitler thinks of Bolshevism. So he says, when I take charge of Germany, I shall end tribute abroad and Bolshevism at home. Bolshevism is our greatest menace. Kill Bolshevism in Germany and you restore 70 million people to power. France owes her strength not to her armies, but to the forces of Bolshevism and dissension in our midst. So there you see already, he's calling out Bolshevism. So this interview is in 1923. The Red Army had just won the Russian Civil War in 1921. So the USSR is the first socialist country and Hitler's already calling them out. Do you honestly think a socialist is saying that? Because this is before, you know, the USSR turned into a real authoritarian state and a really horrible regime and stuff. This is the early stages of the USSR. And a lot of people, you know, were celebrating this in the socialist world and people who were socialists were celebrating the Russians rising up and overthrowing the monarchy and creating a socialist state. But Hitler's already saying in 1923 how bad it is and how wrong it is. Does that sound like something a socialist would say? So he goes on to say the Treaty of Versailles and the Treaty of Saint-Germain are kept alive by Bolshevism in Germany. The peace treaty and Bolshevism are two heads of one monster. We must decapitate so then the interviewer goes on to say, why, I asked Hitler, do you call yourself a national socialist since your party program is the very antithesis of that commonly accredited to socialism? So even back then, 1923, this guy who's interviewing Hitler knows that Hitler is not a socialist. But in 2019, you have right wingers and, you know, idiots on the right saying that Nazis are socialists. You know, 1923, this guy understands. So Hitler goes on to say, socialism is the science of dealing with the common wheel. Communism is not socialism. Marxism is not socialism. The Marxians have stolen the term and confused its meaning. I shall take socialism away from the socialists. See, you know, how could anyone think Hitler was a socialist, Nazis were socialists? He's literally saying here, Karl Marx and his followers are not socialists. The guy who wrote all about communism and socialism is not a socialist. Hitler's going to take them away. And now I'm going to get into what Hitler thinks socialism is. So socialism is an ancient Aryan Germanic institution. Our German ancestors held certain lands in common. They cultivated the idea of the common wheel. Marxism has no right to disguise itself as socialism. Socialism, unlike Marxism, does not repudiate private property. Unlike Marxism, it involves no negation of personality. And unlike Marxism, it is patriotic. So there you have Hitler outlining, you know, pretty clearly that he isn't a socialist at all and he has no real understanding of what socialism is because he thinks, you know, some sort of collective society, some sort of collective sharing of, you know, Germanic people before equals socialism, despite him saying, you know, unlike Marxism, it's patriotic because, you know, as Marxism is more about, you know, we're all one people, we should have, like, no borders, we should all join together because the enemies of Marxism aren't, you know, 
other nations that's just used to divide us it's the you know the elites it's the bourgeois it's the you know aristocracy that's the enemy but hitler's saying you know unlike marxism real socialism is patriotic no it's not and then he's talking about private property there as well so it's way more capitalist than anything to do with socialism so then he goes on to say we might have called ourselves the liberal party we chose to call ourselves the national socialists we are not internationalist. And again, you know, saying he's not internationalist, a lot of socialists were. You had people like Trotsky and Mao who wanted worldwide revolution. And, you know, Karl Marx thought about this stuff, sort of stuff as well. And Hitler's saying exactly, you know, we're not internationalist. And, you know, I guess there are different types of socialists, so you can be a socialist who doesn't maybe want international socialism. I don't really understand how that would work, but I guess there are people like that. So then he says, our socialism is national. We demand the fulfillment of just claims of the productive classes by the state on the basis of race solidarity to us state and race are one. So again, here we go. Hitler is saying he wants an ethno state. What part of socialism calls for an ethno state? You know, I know Marx isn't exactly a non-racist or an anti-racist because he does have views about different races. So did a lot of people back then. It was just pretty common even for people like Marx or John Stuart Mill. But Hitler's actually saying, we want an ethno state. How has that got anything to do with socialism, you know, at all? How has anything Hitler said really have anything to do with socialism apart from he talks a bit about collective society, but then he goes on to talk about private property and ethno states. So again, how is this guy a socialist? So then Hitler goes on to say, we want a greater Germany uniting all German tribes, but our salvation can start in the smallest corner. Even if we only had 10 acres of land, we are determined to defend them of our lives. The 10 acres would become the focus of our regeneration. Our workers have two souls. One is German, the other is Marxian. We must arouse the German soul. We must uproot the canker of Marxism. Marxism and Germanism are antitheses. So there you go, that's the gist of the interview. In the interview, Hitler is constantly attacking socialism, constantly saying how Marxism is not real socialism, and then putting his alternative view of socialism out to the masses. And he's basically saying, the German view of socialism is, you know, uniting the German people. So you see what he does in Czechoslovakia with the Sudeten Germans, places like Austria. He wants to make a great German society. And eventually he just basically says, fuck it. Let's just invade the whole of Europe and expand German power and restore the empire. How is any of that socialist? And you can see the link from his 1923 interview here and what he actually did. It's not like he was socialist and then one day he just went crazy and started doing all this weird stuff to do with fascism. No, he was pretty much always a fascist since the 1920s, so I don't understand this logic. And as you can see for his own words, clearly what he believes in is basically state capitalism and a German ethno state. He doesn't believe in socialism, he doesn't believe in you know abolishing private property, he doesn't believe in class struggle, he doesn't believe in the workers rising up. He says there's two types of workers, ones who are Germans and ones who are Marxist, and they're not compatible. Why would the Marxists not be compatible if he was a real socialist? They definitely would be. So if anyone ever says to you, the Nazis were socialists because they were called national socialists, please send them a video like mine. There are plenty of other good ones about just the ideology in terms of general national socialist ideology and general, you know, socialist ideology. Because as we know, Hitler took over the national socialist. He made it, you know, really in his own image. People followed his ideology over everything. So even if National Socialism didn't mean fascism to start with or anything, Hitler made it that way and they follow Hitler's beliefs. So it has nothing to do with socialism at all. And it's just put in there to trick people, essentially to trick the poor people, trick the workers to thinking that this party has the workers' best interests at heart. But obviously, like Hitler was saying, really nothing to do with that. They want a German ethno state. They want patriotism. They don't advocate class struggle or worldwide revolution or worldwide class struggle like Marx. And they said that Marx essentially stole socialism, even though he pretty much invented this ideology, which is quite ironic. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you've had to deal with anyone who talks a lot of, you know, rubbish about this stuff because i've seen this argument around you know reddit and youtube and it's quite annoying i thought i'd give my own little spin on it by reading you know an interview with adolf hitler so let me know what you guys think in the comments if you're new to the channel please subscribe like the video you can check me out on social media at the cavernacle on both twitter and instagram I also have a Patreon now and that is in the description and I want to say a massive thank you again to everyone who donates to me. You know, I can't even believe it sometimes and I'm super, super grateful for everyone. You know, whether it's a dollar or ten dollars or whatever, you know, I'm all super grateful you would, you know, financially support my channel. 
If you want to see some of my writing, maybe check out my WordPress blog, and that is just the Cavernacle WordPress. I've been slacking on that a bit lately. I need to get back into writing. But yeah, please go check that out. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching.